Welcome to Scaleform GFX 3.0, Getting Started with Click Video Tutorial 2. Our final step details how to skin the option step. Like most every other component, if you can skin a button, you can skin the option stepper. Double click the option stepper to enter its timeline. Zoom into it using Ctrl Plus. Select frame 1 of the component container layer, then select the image on the stage. Press delete to delete it. Locate the button.psd assets folder in the library panel. Open it up by clicking on the arrow next to it. Select the up movie clip and drag it to the stage. Line it up visually, then adjust its size using the transform tool. Press control C to copy the image. Select the focused keyframe and then select the image on the stage. Press Delete to delete it. Now press Control Shift V to paste the image into place. With the image selected, click the Swap button on the Properties panel. Find the button.psd assets folder in the Swap symbol window. Then select the Up Movie Clip. Press OK. Select the disabled keyframe. Press Delete to delete it. Now press Control Shift V to paste the image into place. With the image selected, Set the color effect to alpha in the properties panel. Ensure alpha is set to 50%. Lock the component container layer. Select keyframe 1 of the text field layer. Adjust the text field font type, size, and color in the properties panel under the character rollout. Press Ctrl C to copy the text field. Select the disabled keyframe of the text field and press delete. Press Control Shift V to paste the text field into place. Change the text field's color on this keyframe to a dark gray. Next, double click the left arrow button on the stage to enter its timeline. Select frame 1 of the item layer and press Delete. Locate the button.psd assets folder in the library panel. Open it up by clicking on the arrow next to it. Select the up movie clip and drag it to the stage. Line it up visually, then adjust its size using the transform tool. Press Ctrl C to copy the image. Select keyframe 2, press delete. Paste the image into place with Ctrl Shift V. With the image selected, click the swap button on the properties panel. Find the button.psd assets folder, then select the over movie clip. Now select keyframe 3 and press delete. Again, paste the image into place with Control Shift V. With the image selected, click the swap button on the properties panel. Find the button.psd assets folder, then select the down movie clip. Press OK. Finally, select keyframe 4, disabled, and press delete. Paste the image into place with Control Shift V. Select the image on the stage, and then set the alpha to 50% under color effect on the properties panel. Last of all, we'll skin the arrow. Make sure the arrow layer is unlocked. Then import to stage the arrow image. Browse to and select the file arrow.psd. Ensure create movie clip for this layer is checked. Select the new arrow image on the stage, then press Q to enter transform mode. Click and drag to rotate the arrow image until the arrow is pointing left. Now line the arrow image up over the button. Insert a new keyframe at the disabled state label on the new arrow.psd layer. Select the arrow on the stage and adjust its alpha to 50% using the color effect drop down. Delete the old arrow layer. Then drag the new arrow layer down above the item layer. Return to the options stepper timeline. Normally, you would skin the right arrow button the same way we skin the left arrow. For the purpose of this tutorial, in the interest of avoiding too much repetition, we're just going to duplicate the left arrow button and rotate it to the right. Select the right arrow button and press delete. Select the left arrow button and alt drag it to the right to create the right arrow button. Line it up visually, rotate the button so that the arrow is pointing right. Last of all, change its instance name to next btn. Save and test the movie. This concludes our click skinning tutorial.